So, um, you're a writer. Yes. And tell me about your writing. Oh, um, working on a new novel, and I have a novel out right now that's called Two Augusts in a Row in a Row, and it's a drag, it's a book about a drag king in 2001, and um, it's magic realism. And so my writing is, um, well, the most recent review I got said that it was like, Didion's Year of Magical Thinking, only queer and Brooklyn. Nice. And That's kind of unique. Yeah. That's a unique review. Yes. Wow. That was beautiful. And, and uh, So in other words, it deals with grief, though, too. It deals with death. And, so it deals with all sorts of things. Yeah, it goes into, you know, depths of brief but it also is very humorous so you're uplifted so it doesn't leave you in the gutter it kind of uplifts you and, and, uh, and it's spiritual and tell me the title again two augusts in a row in a row wow that's a neat title thank you how did you think of the title the titles you know, always have a special meaning too they do and, and chapter titles have a special meaning yes i have like 50 chapters and they all have titles <laughs> wow. and um, there you can get my book from publication studio uh, publication studio Portland did the first edition and now the other editions are from publication studio Hudson and um, but two Augusts in a row in a row came to me it was after 9-11 and, and I wrote it down, and then it took me a few years to understand the meaning of two Augusts in a row in a row. So in New York City, the city felt like August and September after September 11th. So th that incident does happen in the middle of the book. And, um, but yeah, and so, also, so two Augusts is like two towers. You know, it has a lot of yeah. resonances in and a row haunting. and in a row. It's like a fight or a rowing or... Wow. Yeah. And it was haunting to go into like the post office after 9-11. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and it was kind very of walk August around. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then so also it's... August has that feeling of a... Um, a um, like surrendering to uh, the way things really are instead of the way you want them to be. And, but the, ma the magic, there's a lot of magic in the book too and a lot of love and lessons about love. And That's really neat. So, and and, like and it, uh, how many books have you written? I'm on my third book. Nice, nice. The, this new one, do you want to hear the title? Oh, I'd love to hear the title. It's called, The Wind Blew Through Like a Chorus of Ghosts. Ooh. And, and what is that one about? It's about someone who had a past life as a witch. And they're going to find out about that life in the UK. They're Americans who go to the UK to find out more about it. Oh, and I so, love uh, it. Yeah. You. Your writing is always thought-provoking. You can think about other things as you're reading your, your stories. Yeah, 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 definitely. We do get... It's open so that your mind has space to think so that you're not just... Um, I will never tell anybody what to think. There's space for somebody to be encouraged to think and uh, experience thinking. It's true. I like that. I studied art mainly, so that's art school is all about learning how to think. And you, uh, I mean, you did know. you publish them in New York? Are they? Um, uh, my publisher is was in Portland, but now the new group is in Hudson, well, Troy, New York. Oh, wow. And so I have a publisher. They made an art edition and also the publication studio in London made an art edition. And that one has a purple cover with holographic um, lettering. Wow. 
So they so. did a beautiful job. Yeah. Uh, doing yeah. the artwork that probably... went along with your book. Oh, no, it was my artwork. I put oh, my wow. artwork in. Wow. Yeah. Let me see if I can pop something up quickly. Well, here's one. Oh. Here's, here's the purple edition from London. Wow. And um, <laughs> it's so funny. Two phones in a row in a row. And and so tell me here's if pink, people want to find out about your writing. Here's the pink and, edition. Oh, wow. That has artwork in it too. And then there's a red a edition. And is that your Facebook? Uh, yeah. Oh, that's my Instagram. Shellology on Instagram is a good way to contact me if anybody needs to reach me. How and then nice. I can send them to how to get my book. Oh, actually, there's a link on Instagram. To your Facebook? No, to my where my publishers have the book for sale. Well, it's slowly wow. going to work at some point. Yeah, it's how not nice. Moved. Oh, here we go. Publication studio. So they have studios all over different places. And there's the artist edition, but they also have a... And then give us the name of your books again so people can look for them. Well, just two Augusts in a row in a row is on Publication Studio. That's, that's the wonderful. book that's published. I have another book that isn't published. That's really yeah. neat. And then the new book, so that'll be the third. Oh, I love it. That's so neat. Thank you so much. Yeah. And um, uh, give us, uh, do you want to give us your Facebook page or oh, any okay. other links? Sure, sure. You can find me on Facebook. That's easy. That's just fine. And if people want to friend you and find out and follow you along. Yeah. Uh, today you're in Seattle, that. but in 45 minutes you're going to be going to the airport and flying No, no, off. no. Tomorrow morning I'll be going home. Okay. And so this is just a rare moment to see you. Yeah. I mean, this is a wonderful interview. There's, there's me. Huh. Oh, that's beautiful. And I Thank love you. the... The beautiful photograph. Did you take that? I did. It is a self-portrait, yeah. Oh, it's a few years old because that cat's gone now. It's so beautiful. Cute, right? Oh, that's that so pretty. Thank that's you. just really nice. Just well, thank you for being on my TV show. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Yeah, my TV show is Public Interest Issues Show. Okay, good. I'll, and I'll it's on Seattle Community Media TV. Excellent. I'm on Facebook. Okay. I'm on I'll YouTube. You there. I'm all over. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. And now give us your name again. Shelly Marlowe. Shelly Marlowe. Yes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.